Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bear's Off Grid Ways. Yeah, look at that nice purple haze over there. Good old smog. Can't believe this smog, but look at over here. Look at those clouds. Now, somebody over there is getting lucky with some rain and thunderstorms. They bypassed me as usual here. They, uh, they built in all the way across the sky there, and I had some directly overhead, and they were joining in a loop and coming back in, and just before they got totally dark and ready to spurt some water out, they broke up again. Bummer. Can't believe that stuff. Anyway, wanted to get out here and uh, do a, a quick video and give you something to look forward to. So, I am tired of having to run the generator at night and I'm running out of gas and I'm running out of money to put gas in. So, got to do something. So today I was hunkered down, soaking in the tokuzi, trying to keep cool and pour little Blackie and Doggy Daddy were the only ones here. I told all the girls that if they got pregnant, I was going to sell them. And they uh, disappeared last night and didn't come back until after it cooled down and the winds picked up this afternoon. So <laughs> they're all back now. Everybody's here, even little girl. And uh, I only had the males here today, so pretty interesting all except for um, midnight well midnight's a, a female but I didn't see midnight anywhere um, in this group so I don't know where she is and uh, anyway let's get back to the uh, topic on hand here I did go out and soak the garden already so that's taken care of for the night but uh, the thing that I'm looking at here is in about an hour now, I'm going to lose power in the cabin because these batteries are not holding anymore. So I probably could take those batteries out of the system and bring them outside here. And in four days for each 12 volt group, I could probably rejuvenate them and reuse them. But in order to do that, I've got to disassemble the whole system and rewire it. So if I'm going to do that, I may as well disassemble the whole system and rewire it into the new batteries. So the new uh, lead time batteries with the 230 amp hours each times four at 920 amp hours, 12 volts, I should have enough power to run my cabin so here's my plan and I'm not sticking to this yet but here's my plan all right so what I'm thinking is if it's not 110 degrees again tomorrow like it was today well it was only 110 for about 15 minutes then it dropped back to 109 and then it fluctuated between 108 and 109 back and forth all afternoon and then it finally dropped down. Now um, the sun's been down for a while. It's down to in the upper 80s. So the wind blowing, it feels pretty good. But last night that wind stopped just as I was going to bed and it was hot. And I can't turn on the ceiling fans or the air conditioning because I don't have any power. So this is pushing me to the limit. I've got to do something. Here's my plan. I can start over again. I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those new batteries up on that top shelf. In order to do that, I need to clean all the electronics off of there, get the batteries out of there, and move them to another location. So that's what I'm looking at. So that's get all the top batteries out, and then leave the bottom row of batteries in, but maybe move the top batteries down to the bottom shelf and tie them back all in so that I have a backup supplementary 
but I need to check the batteries as I'm doing that. And any bad batteries, I'm just going to pull out all together. I don't need those at all. And these four seem to hold pretty good, but I'm not sure of them, so I'm going to end up pulling those out too. But I'm going to leave those in so I can stay connected to those four until I get going for what I want to do. Now, since the closest to the back of the um, unit is either that shelf or that shelf, I'd like to have that shelf, but working in between everything is going to be a hassle. So I'm going to do it on the top shelf, but with leaving enough wire so that I can move it down when all is settled. Okay, so I am planning on doing this at the next um, sufferable temperature that we have, which is, seems to be maybe coming up tomorrow, but who knows? These weather guessers have not been right about anything yet. So, who knows what it's going to be. But, if it does, I'm going to need to take that controller and that controller off of there. Cut that piece of wood that's sticking up off the top there. And then add a new support to hold that shelf up. Even though I'm going to have a fraction of the weight on that shelf. I want to have a good support on it for what I'm putting on there because if those of you have been keeping track of the news uh, this world has been going crazy with earthquakes on the ring of fire and California is right in the middle of the ring of fire so we've had them north and south of us who knows we could have, be having a shake and bake coming any time with all this heat so what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is try to plan on getting the four batteries up there. I'll have to extend the shelf out a little bit, but then that's gonna give me a really short run to the battery terminals on the inverter. And even if I move them down to the next shelf, I could always raise the next shelf up a little bit and use the same length of wire. So that's gonna work out for me. So I should be able to leave these four in here connected to the um, inverter while I'm doing all the other work so that I at least have the refrigerator running while I'm setting everything up and I'm going to try to get started on that tomorrow. Now here's the surprise for all of you. Once I get all of this done I'm going to have things like people have asked me before about the dump load controller They'd like to have a dump load controller. They don't sell those anymore. I hate to give it up because it's worked for me all these years without a problem. But I may give that dump loader uh, controller away to some lucky winner in a contest. And I'll have the contest uh, rules and stuff announced when I'm ready to do that. But... Um, yeah, somebody would like to have something like that. Now also, I'm not going to need all these extra controllers that are around here. So I'll be giving those away. And, on top of all of that, I've been swamped with companies wanting me to do reviews on their products. So I have two products sitting on my kitchen table right now that both need to be... Um, reviewed and posted and I when I do that I will review and post them and I will post uh, specific codes for my viewers to get them at a discount and we're talking some pretty good discounts from what I got from the companies that are talking about this and these are pretty neat products and for those of you who are going off grid and not going to be there all the time. Some of this stuff is going to be really good for you. And you might be interested in it. Well, you'll be able to get it really cheap when I do it on the video by clicking the links and using the discount codes. But I don't really need those products because I've already got stuff that override them. And I've been here for a while, so my plan is to give those away to some lucky people, viewers, 
the viewers that are on my channel. And we're going to do that by simple contests where you don't really have to do anything except comment. So every day and every following day, I, I'll give you two days per video, I will count up all of the videos by the timestamp and date stamp that happened for that one video at that time. And those people will get specific numbers of entries and then down the line we'll break that down to the other people. So the people with the most <clears throat> um, comments and things like that will get more entries than others. And then I've got one other little surprise I want to toss in on that too. But we'll talk about that later when I'm ready to set it all up. In the meantime, stand by. i got some products coming out that you might be interested in. Um, especially if you're off-grid. Even if you're not off-grid. These things will save you some money. And some aggravation and some time. This is G-Bear. Thank you for joining me and signing off.